Japan, that's what they call me. Hello everybody, Jesse Leonard here. Uh, this is going to be a little quick video. I'm going to be making on how to change out your filter for your refrigerator if it has ice and water. Now I just got back from my older sister's just moments ago changing hers because for those who don't know, this fridge and the fridge at my older sister's take the same filter. Only difference is this fridge is a Whirlpool Gold and and hers is a Kenmore so let's get started now just a heads up I don't have my tripod unfortunately because it doesn't fit on this phone exactly it would have fit on my Galaxy Note 8 but I, that phone's just broken so it won't fit on my it kind of fits on my Note 10 plus however it's crooked so yeah I have to work on getting a better tripod for that and I mean I do have another tripod but it's for tablets use only so Let's see if I can. Now, I was able to open this wrapper without scissors. Oh, there we go. Something broke there, I think. Give me a second, y'all. I apologize. There we go. Now we got it peeling already. Usually, you don't have. You necessarily don't have to have scissors to open these. I'm trying to. Mm. And I just scraped my hand. As I peeled that, so that's great. Trying to uh, wait, there's still some stuff. There we go. All right, so that's oh, I'm gonna autofocus back on. There we go. Now, let me show you a difference. Now, of course, this one has a label. Oh, of course, you gotta take this cap off as well, like that. And now, what you want to do is come down here and eject this by pressing the button. And it just ejects just like that. Now, heads up, it will be dripping. Now, you see a difference how... Ooh, yeah, look at that. It's dirty. Yep. Um, the only difference between the, old, the, the new one and the one we had... Yeah, see, it's already dripping right now. It, it, doesn't, it, didn't even lab, it doesn't even have a label on what part number it is. So... It's good thing I got one that does. Now, of course, you just want to either lay, lay this in the sink or buy a trash can. In this case, we'll just lay, let it lay in the sink. If it'll stay standing, it probably won't stay standing. Of course, I'll dry that out with a paper towel here in just a little bit. Uh, now, what you want to do is take your cover here and just... Hang on. Try to get it. Tell y'all what, if I had my tripod with me, it would be so much easier. Get it positioned right. I think it's, it tells you the arrow. It shows a, this one shows an arrow, apparently, on how it should go. Apparently, that's not the, or just, you know, kind of findy like that. Best thing I can give you. Sorry, because I'm not on my, and you should turn it till, till it locks, and apparently, you should turn it till it We'll be able to lock, but let me hold on. Give me a second here. Try to... There we go. Yeah, there. So so that way it's it locks in place when you turn it, just like that. Now what you want to do, and just a heads up, the, the before you before you um start doing this procedure, have a plastic cup. With you, don't use like a regular cup. I wouldn't recommend using a regular cup, but just use one of these hefty plastic cups, or you know, because you're going to be dealing with a lot of air and whatnot. All right, so when you first put the filter in, there's going to be a lot of air, and to work that a lot of air to work in. We'll see how it goes. So let's see how it does. You hear that? Now, of course, you can hear it better running from, from coming from the sink because the water line for this fridge actually used to be running outside, but now we got it running under the, with, under the sink. All right, sorry about the pause there. My mom just walked in out of nowhere, and I had to give her a warning that I was recording, so if there's extracurricular in the background, I apologize. Anyways, let's get started by... Now, you see, you see how it's not stopping all the way? That's... And you can actually hear the air.
Wait for it to stop dripping now, however. I should have stopped it a little bit quicker. Might have stopped it too 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 late. Um, hey, you know what? Let's actually turn the light on so y'all can see it better. You hear all that air down there. Got to work all that air out. Whoop! Hello. There you go. That's all the air. And I apologize for my sister's language. Excuse that right there, but. Whoa, hello. This is something that. I don't understand it, why it does this. There's black water coming this one, but for some reason when at my older sister's, it doesn't do that much. I don't understand. Of course, it's going to be splashing on, on your hands and whatnot, but as you see, it's just get working out. Yeah, it, it doesn't do this at my older sister. No black water that comes out of it. And I don't understand why it... You see? It doesn't do that at my older sister's. It's just I just changed the filter, and it's said and done. And I... But, I will, but for some reason over here, it's just... I don't know. It's just crazy. There is still some air. Now the goal of this is to make sure you get all, and I mean all, of the air out the best you can. Or you want to make sure it's not getting any, you know, you want to make sure the water is not misfiring as well. And I still hear some air down there, but it'll work its way out. And of course, uh, we're having a little trouble on this um, control panel. To some, some, sometimes you let go of the water dispenser, and it, the panel kind of goes out for a bit. I don't know. Okay, had some extra curricular in the background. Sorry about that. You want to get most, you want to keep pouring, you want to keep on getting more, more water out, water out until it stops misfiring. Or, you know. But like I said, like I was explaining moments ago, to, sometimes if you quit dispensing water, the control panel misfires and it kind of re, kind of resets itself out of nowhere. If I can get it to show, it just depends. And then it's not doing it now. It was, I think, once already. Still misfiring some because of the air, but it's pretty much, pretty much worked its way out. There might be some misfires here and there, but as long as you got most of it all taken care of, then it's all that matters, all the air taken care of. Not misfiring the control port. The, you know what I mean. Control panel. I'm trying to see if it will though. And probably not now. Every now and then it does. Like every time when you done dispense some water, the whole panel just goes blank and comes right back on like it's resetting from out of nowhere. Like maybe something's going bad, who knows. I don't know why it just resets it by itself, it just does. You see those lights kind of, I saw those lights kind of flickered there a little bit. Now we normally just leave the light off of this, but I'm just 
getting y'all a better feel of it. We're already 10 minutes into the video now. Well, it's going to be a couple more seconds because I have to put in my intro and outros. So. Alright, well that's pretty much it. Looks, I'll just go ahead and turn the light off now. But it'll still come on as you're either getting ice or water. Like I said, there might be a couple... Uh, there might be some air still in it, but as long as you got most of the air already out, that's all that matters. And this water feels ice cold too. And I mean, it feels really cold. Well, probably because it would probably make sense because it's cold outside too. I think it was around the mid 40s to almost fit 50s right before I left. So, but uh, but usually after you're done with this, you you can probably just go ahead and toss this cup out and get a fresh one. So the control panel's not misfiring. It does it every now and then. It will. It will every once in a while. I know I know it kind of misfired, but I didn't show it to you exactly. I mean, you probably did see the light went out there when I had the light on. All right, well that's pretty much it, y'all. Then you can just after you're done with all this, you can just toss this, and I'll toss it again. I'll toss it in just a little bit. Um, I'm gonna grab a paper towel and clean that clean that up. And that's just from coming from the old filter. And that's the um, other one that I replaced that molded scissors just earlier. I didn't get it on video though. So, but um, usually what you can do now is I don't know if these things are recyclable or not, but in case, but I don't think they are. You could just put the one in the box and put that cap in and whatnot. But it's a good thing we got. It's a good thing we got those kind of filters because this is the only problem why we couldn't order it the past couple of months because. There, it was not labeled on what part number it was, but then we figured it out. We finally figured it out. I got the part number saved on my phone, so that way I'll remember what it is from now on. And there you have it. That's how you change your filter out. And thanks so much for watching, y'all. Like I said, there's more some more unboxings to come come soon. I'll try to do some more unboxings here later on tonight. Uh, make sure y'all hit like, subscribe, comment down below what you think, and tap the bell so that way you'll know every video is posted, and we'll see you on the next one.